Hi students, I am Aishwarya Jina, your English teacher. I am back again and today we are going to discuss class 11 NCRT textbook Hornbill, a poem titled The Laburnum Talk by Ted Hughes. The poem revolves around a laburnum tree and a goldfinch. This poem is about the repaying relationship between the goldfinch and the laburnum tree. Before going into the detail of the poem, let's discuss about the author. Edward James Hughes was an English poet and children's writer. Critics frequently rank him as one of the best poets of his generation and one of the 20th century's greatest writers. He served as a poet laureate from 1984 until his death. Now let's discuss the poem more in detail. Introduction The poem The Laburnum Talk is a beautiful poem by Ted Hughes. In this poem, the poet has used the laburnum tree and goldfinch as a symbol of life and its fluctuations. He describes the visiting of goldfinch on the laburnum tree and how she made a nest on it. When the goldfinch has chicks, it brings alive the tree as the chicks starts to rustle and chirp. The poet is trying to convey the message that life is a process of exchange and transformation. People are alive because they undergo exchange of energy. The goldfinch transforms the tree and make it alive. Without the goldfinch and the chicks, the laburnum tree is just another tree. Now let's discuss the poem line by line. The poem, the laburnum talk, is a short and beautiful poem of 15 lines. In this poem, the poet used a laburnum tree and a goldfinch as a symbol of life and its fluctuations. As you can see on the board that I have written three stanzas explanation in very small three short points. The first stanza deals with before the word arrives. That is before the goldfinch arrived, it was autumn season and because of that, all the leaves had shed. The tree looks very bare and it stands still. Now, moving into the second stanza. When the bird arrived, when the bird arrived, the tree was thrilled and because of that, it came into the life back again. The third stanza deals with the bird's departure. After the bird had left from the tree, what happened is again the tree became silent and still. This is what the poet explains through these three stanzas. The first stanza, the laburnum top is silent, quite still. In the afternoon yellow September sunlight, a few leaves yellowing, all its seeds fallen. In the first stanza, as I said earlier, before the bird's arrival, the tree was standing still and was quiet. This happened in the yellow September sunlight, that is in the autumn season where there were no leaves, all the leaves had fallen, the tree was very dry and looked silent. Till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirrup, a suddenness, a startlement at a branch end, then sleeps as a lizard and alert and abrupt, she enters into the thickness and a machine starts up of chitterings and a tremor of wings and trillings. In this stanza, the poet describes about the situation when the goldfinch entered into the thickness or the treetop. The young ones were waiting for their mother bird anxiously to have their food. They made their chittering noise and their tremor of wings 
made the tree trembled and thrilled. The movement of the bird is compared to a lissan. Because of the swiftness, this sudden jerk movement has made the tree to tremble and thrilled. Now the next stanza. The whole tree trembles and thrills. It is the engine of her family. She stalks it full, then flirts out to a branch end, showing her bart face identity mask. In this stanza, the poet describes the situation when the bird arrived. The whole tree was thrilled by watching the mother bird and the chirping sound of the young ones. The young ones were anxiously waiting for the mother bird to bring them food. In this stanza, the lifeless tree had come back to life again because of the the goldfinch now let's move on to the next stanza then with airy delicate whistle chirrup whisperings she launches away towards the infinite and the laburnum subsides to empty here in the last stanza the poet describes the situation of the tree when the goldfinch had left the tree and went back to the sky the tree again became lifeless and stood still when the bird moved towards the sky. The poet tries to convey the message that life is a process of exchange and transformation. People are alive because they undergo exchange of transformation and energy. The goldfinch transforms the lifeless tree back again and makes it alive. Hope you have understood the video of Goldfinch and the Laburnum Tops Life. Now, dear students, I hope you have understood the video. Let's discuss the literary devices more in detail in the next session. Till then, stay home, stay safe, keep social distancing. Thank you. And if you liked my video, give a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching my video.